Hello, my name is John on the radio. And I asked on Twitter and on YouTube if you motherfuckers would like a Q&A. So, today I shall provide that Q&A. Now, there's a metric fuck ton of questions that you motherfuckers asked. So, this may be a long video. However, a substantial amount of those questions were fucking terrible. But of the ones that were good, I shall be ready. Please, enjoy. I'm going to be playing some solo Fortnite Well, I answer questions. So, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to begin with some Twitter questions. Bordy asked, what are your goals? There are many goals, but what I do want to do is become a voice actor in a game at some point, and then I want to play that game on stream, because I think that would be fucking awesome. Another goal, is to hit 500,000 subscribers. I don't fucking know, all right? I don't fucking know. <laughs> There's some goals. I've thrown them at you. You've caught them. You've enlightened them. You've brought them into your body. And now they're there. Second question. X error with three R's. E R R R O R. So four R's. One of my favorite streamers right there. Asked. Who are some YouTubers and streamers you look up to? Well... I look up to Haniel Darrison. He is very impressive streamer. He's very good at what he does. I look up to Soda Poppin. I love him. He's he's a fantastic streamer. I look up to Fitz and uh, you know, all of my friends. I, I genuinely love all of my friends. They're amazing people. I think of them as family. The, the, all the boys in the group. I I love them all. They're such amazing creators and they're such great people. You know, we only play with our friends and and, and it's awesome. Um, one person that I that I especially look up to on YouTube is fucking Cryoz. He grinds like a motherfucker. He uploads every day and all of his content cracks me the fuck up. There is nothing that will make me laugh more than fucking Cryoz so consistently over and over. Every time I watch his videos, I just fucking love his comedy. I fuck with that man so much. I love that dude. He's one of my favorite people in the entire world. All right. Next question. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's carry this on. Let's carry this on. Another YouTuber that I look up to. These are the people that really brought me into the YouTube scene. These are the people that I, I liked originally when I was a kid on YouTube and have, you know, still, to be honest, liked them to this day. And they are still a huge inspiration to me. And that's Hutch, C Nanas, and Mr. Sark. OG Machinima Re the, the Machinima? <laughs> OG Machinima Respawn. I fuck with that shit, man. I fuck with that shit so much. It was so good. Machinima inbox, respawn inbox, I mean, with Mr. Sark and APL. Oh, it was the best. I love that shit so much. But uh, yeah, so th those are some 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 YouTube creators that I look up to. And some streamers were thrown in there too. Now, Erzy, E-R-Z-Z-E-E -Z -E -E, on Twitter asked, uh, what did you ask? <laughs> what kind of people do you click with right away? Meaning the kind of personality which appeals to you most when meeting someone new. I like to, I like someone interesting and I like someone funny. If someone's funny. It's, it's almost, you know, inevitable that it's going to go well. You know, funny people are always great. Got to love me some funny people. We have located a, a tango. He's approached the fishing store. Yeah. So just basically just funny people and interesting people. If you have something about you that, you know, makes you, you know, a little bit different to someone else. To, to, to your standard peoples. And uh, there's nothing wrong with... I've accidentally shot by smacking my mouse into my phone. But that is Oakley Doakley. Hello, buddy. How you doing? I didn't deserve that kill at all. Um, I missed pretty much every shot, and that was embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to witness that. But we shall now carry on with the Q&A. Yum Gummy asked... What was your inspiration to start YouTube? And did you expect yourself to get to where you are today? Well, uh, for the second part of that question, no. I never expected I'll get to the place that I am today. And I don't think anyone ever does on YouTube. I think if you expect that you're going to get somewhere on YouTube, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so no, I, I didn't ever expect that I'll get this way. But if you want to know the... There's a man out here.
um what was i saying <laughs> uh yeah okay so the reason that i got into youtube this is an extremely boring answer but the only reason i got into youtube was because fitz did fitz has been my best friend for like five years i've i i went to high school with him um and uh <laughs> And yeah, I, I went to high school with him. He started doing YouTube after he left high school. I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And then I um, and then I started becoming part of his videos and, and that was fun. And then, uh, you know, after a while he started streaming and I was like, damn, streaming's fun. I enjoy streaming with Fitz. So I started streaming myself and I really enjoyed it. And then over time I was like, hmm, this is cool. And people keep asking me to make a YouTube channel. Maybe I'll make a YouTube channel. And I fucking hated it. <laughs> and then I got an editor. And that changed everything. And I've had an editor for like nine months now. And my content is... I love it. I love what he makes. And uh, yeah, now I really enjoy YouTube. But that's what inspired me to start YouTube. A little boy called Fitz. Who is not very little. He's fucking huge. All right. Next question. Purpleism07 underscore asked... Why are you the cutest human being in the world? If you don't want to answer that, then... If you weren't doing YouTube and Twitch, what goal or career would you be pursuing and why? Now, um, I would be pursuing voice acting and something in radio because those are things that I fucking love. And I also believe that those are things that I'm kind of good at. I think I'm pretty good at voice acting and I think I'm all right at talking, <laughs> which is pretty much what radio is. <laughs> so, yeah, that is uh, that's the answer to uh that question let me scroll down here a little bit more all right sounds man sam asked on twitter what's your favorite youtube moment so far um my favorite youtube moment well this is gonna sound very cliche but my favorite thing that i like that, that i've done and that youtube has allowed me to do is uh meeting people at conventions as cliche as it sounds as cliche as it sounds meeting people is so incredible it is so humbling and it is so cool just to see all these people how many people am i tilting that i haven't healed yet anyway it's so incredible to see all these people that that watch me for me and and that want to meet me and then it's also just like so cool seeing all these people coming from all these different places and ah uh, i just i love meeting people from oh hello i love meeting people from um there we go. That's what I was trying to do there. There we go. Very good. Very good. All right. Very good. Very good, love. Very good. Let me just come on up here, mate. Come on up here. I can't see anything. Goodness gracious me, I could not see a thing. Yo, low key, this is this is this game's going quite well right now. Very good, <laughs> very good. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, meeting people is is my favorite thing to do with YouTube. I I meeting meeting. I don't like saying fans. I like saying viewers. Meeting my viewers or my subscribers is just extremely cool, extremely cool, and in an extreme fashion, my friends. All right, next question. Um, B man five four. Nine four asked, "Where did you get the name John on the radio from?" Well, my friend, I believe I heard someone. But well, my friend, I got the name John on the radio because I was one of those people. I I, I assume there's more people like me, but when I was uh you know just starting out in gaming and shit on on computer and Steam, I loved the fact that I could change my name whenever I wanted. So I would change my name all the time so i never really had that one name that i would stick to fitz was always fitz he always called himself fitz that was just like his thing you know even before he had a youtube channel he was fitz right and um and that was cool and i didn't have anything so basically fitz and i would do these improv radio sh show things on on surf servers this is even before he had a channel right we would just go onto surf servers and improvise the radio show for like an hour and when you're doing improv, you want a name that's easy to remember. And because I didn't have a name that I would always stick to, he would call me John. Just because it's like, it's a stereotypical name. It's easy to remember. And it's like, John on the radio here, you know? And um, so he would call me John and we were doing improv radio shows. So I started calling myself John on the radio. And then I kind of just stuck with it for some random reason. And that is what happened. That is my name. That is how 
it became a thing. For anyone who doesn't know, my, my name is Toby, um, which is why people question why I'm called John on the radio. And uh, it's annoying because it's a very valid question, and, and that annoys me that uh, my name is so ridiculous and so weird that it's perfectly reasonable for people to question me on to the extent at which they do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, next question. S3 Acidic or gaming i don't know how to say your name but anyway <laughs> that person on twitter asked me is it hard being a daily streamer and are there ever days where you force yourself to stream when you don't want to now um yes is the easy is the short answer yes it, it can be um there are definitely days where i don't want to stream um i'm lucky that i'm lazy enough to not have a, a schedule <laughs> I basically, I just say, hey, I stream every day, but I'm not fucking telling you what time because that way I don't have to stick to a schedule. <laughs> um, and I know that's bad and I should really have a schedule, but because of that, it means I can kind of just stream whenever I fucking want. Um... Oh, that is not a gun. Quickly, give me my shotgun, please. Ah, ah, ah. Man, that guy is bad. You know, he could have very easily killed me there, but he didn't because... I mean, I was literally paused. I somehow pressed the pause button and I opened my map at one point. I mean, God, that was the easiest kill of his life. And he didn't get it. I don't even remember what I was talking. Can you leave me alone, please? I'm already in a goddamn fight, you bitch. Oh, now this fucker's coming down. Can you come down, please? You're just sitting up there so goddamn eager-like. What do you want? Oh, that's out of bullets. Okay. Oh, shit. He's coming. Can you fuck off, please? Wherever the fuck you are? Oh, you've just... Thank you for killing that guy. It's made my life a little easier. Jump down, boy. That was dumb. You should have really stuck to your perch, mate. You should have really stuck to your perch. Because I was not going to win that fight if you stuck to your perch. Because I'm bad at building. But you didn't stick to your perch. And because of that, you paid the price. But that's alright. We live and we learn. Um, I'm very low on health. I'm just going to sit in this very, very, not very good at covering me bush. Okay, what was the question? Uh, yes, okay, so so yeah, there, there are definitely times where I don't feel like streaming. And, um, you know, it, it, streaming is one of those things that sounds very easy. You know, it, it sounds like, oh, how would streaming be hard? You literally just sit there and play video games. Well, one, no, you don't. There, there's a lot more work that goes into streaming than just sitting there playing video games. And two, um... You know, sometimes you just don't feel it. You know, sometimes you don't feel like entertaining people. And at the end of the day, video, uh, streaming isn't about playing video games. Streaming is about fucking entertaining people. If you're not being entertaining, nobody's going to want to watch you that day. So sometimes you just don't feel like it, but you have to, you know? And and it, it's more about discipline for me. It's, it's not necessarily about, you know, feeling like, oh, I need to stream every day in order to make enough money or anything like that. It's just about discipline. I want to have some something in my life that I definitely have to stick by. And that is the, the daily streaming. I have to stick to my daily streaming. That is the one thing I like to stick to. And and yeah, that discipline is, is good for me. Look at that man. Cheeky little man over there. Anyway, so yeah, it, it can be difficult. Um, but, but I do love it at the same time. Streaming is one of my favorite things to do. Because like, if I'm feeling sad, I stream. If I, uh, you know, if, if, I, if I'm in some sort of weird mental state where I don't really... Why'd you have to place that there? Come on. If I'm, if I'm in some kind of weird mental state and I don't really know how to deal with it, I, I feel uncomfortable or something, I fucking stream. I stream and it makes me happy. It makes... I, I just... I love it. I love you people that come and watch me. I love chatting to everyone. And I love the community that I've built through streaming. But sometimes it can be difficult. There's a guy over there too. Um, What's the next question? If you could get any car, what would you get? A Pagani Huara. 
probably a Pagani Huara BC or a Koenigsegg Aguera RS. Either that or I would get something dope and modify the shit out of it because that's always fun. I just smacked my mouse into my phone again. I do that far too often. Okay, I'm going to go down to the next question because it doesn't seem like anything's happening in the game right now. What is your favorite video you've ever made? Um, funnily enough, it's a recent one and it's very poorly edited and I love it. <laughs> It is one of the videos I had to edit for myself because um, my editor wasn't available at the time. Uh, and it is very unedited. It's super raw. It's just me. It's just, hey, watch John be a fucking idiot for 30 minutes. And I love it. It's me playing Escape from Tarkov for 30 minutes. I think it's called uh, John Goes Insane or something like that because I genuinely go insane on that stream and it's just fucked. But it's so funny. I, I actually love it. And as much as it's uh you know people don't like people that find themselves funny i found that video fucking hilarious and it's me <laughs> so you know there's that i'm just cocky i guess um <laughs> next question oh sorry that was from vib john and the car one was from ash dog next question is from swagton 15 asking what is your f who is your favorite out of the group now that's a hard question because i love everyone but at the same time, as far as comedy, the person whose comedy I fuck with the most is fucking Cryos. As I said earlier, I love Cryos' comedy. I fuck with it so much. Fitz is obviously an extremely close friend to me who I've known for a very long time. So there's that. I, I love Fitz. But as I said before, I love all of these guys like family. Like these people, I've, I've, I just, I love these people. They are like family to me. And um, it's, it's awesome. I love these people so much much very 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 much love man next question is from molly bar boob molly boob and they asked how do you deal with people recognizing you in public would you rather people uh not come up to you or they that they do um well one i've never had someone come up to me in public in my home city i live in auckland uh, and I've never ever had anyone record. Well, people may have recognized me in public, but no one has ever come up to me. Uh, which I love meeting people, as I said earlier. Uh, if you ever see me in public and you want to come say hi, you want to grab a photo or something, I don't know why you'd want to get a photo with me. But if you did, I don't know, fucking do it. Just come up and say, hi, I'm extremely socially awkward. Can you take a photo with me? And I'll be like, hi, I'm also extremely socially awkward. And I don't know how to continue this conversation. Have a good day. And then I'll take the photo and it'll be great. But I love meeting people. Um, yeah, if you ever see me and you feel like, oh, I don't want to bother him. Don't worry. You won't be bothering me. It'll make me feel super humbled and super flattered. So, yeah, don't worry. It's fine. Um, Candy Crusher 99 asked, what do you enjoy the most? Streaming on Twitch or making YouTube content? Streaming. I'm a streamer at heart. I've been streaming the longest. I've been streaming for way before I started uh, YouTube. And I love streaming so much, as I said earlier. I stream when I want to feel happier. I stream if I'm, you know, if, if, if I want, if I'm bored. You know, I, streaming is the solution to all of my problems. <laughs> I love streaming so much. Uh, so, yeah, um, I love streaming. YouTube, I do really enjoy YouTube as well. But streaming is, is my thing. Streaming's my go-to. Streaming's my baby. My baby. My Twitch is my baby. I love my Twitch. I stream every day, by the way, assholes. Come and watch me, all right? I want to be big, like, like ninja. <laughs> I'm already pro at Fortnite, as you saw earlier. All I need is the viewers. <laughs> yeah, but I, I love streaming the most. Um, Next question is from Alfie with a bunch of numbers. I'm going to focus on the game right here. Just, just for a moment here. Hello. Hello, housekeeping. How are you today? You're doing good? That's fantastic. Very good to hear. Ah, shit! Come, how are you not dead? God damn, how did he take so long to die? What is this shit, man? What is going on, man? I want your chug jug, please. And I want your legendary scar. Very sexy.
I don't know why I want your chug chug. But I do. Alright, where's this last where's this last dude at? I kinda placed that there. All right, sorry, we're going to focus on this game. Uh, there is two other people left. It's a very intense gameplay, very high velocity gameplay right here. Ladies and gentlemen, if I win this, this will be my first solo win in season five. Fortnite seasoned fries. Oh, there's a man down here. Oh, no, I thought that was the sound of someone opening the thing. I, I clearly don't know this game. This is very scary. I don't like this situation at all. All right, next question. <laughs> uh, what made you want to do YouTube and Twitch? Sorry, I already answered this question. Um, I don't know why I'm rereading it, but Fitz. And, well, actually, it was you guys and Fitz. Because, oh, you sick fuck. You piece of shit, dude. Uh, yeah, you guys. So it was like Fitz and then you guys. Because you guys would comment on Fitz's videos and be like, where's John's channel and shit? And I'll be like, it's not here yet. I don't want to make a channel. And then I made a channel. And that's the story. Love me. Okay, where's this last man's? Okay, we're all loaded. We're all, we're all locked and loaded. We're ready. We're ready to take it. Alright, we need to find this man's. That's loaded. We're all, we're all good. We're all Gucci. Okay, where is this man, huh? Look, he has to be close to me. But I have no clue where he is. Oh, he's down here. Or was that my footsteps I'm hearing? I, I have no idea at this point. Oh, yeah, he's right there. Well, I wasn't expecting to win a game in this, uh, I wasn't expecting to win a game in the Q&A recording. So that's a little weird. Um, that's really strange. I'm just taking a photo because I'm a loser and I want to post that on Twitter because I never win games ever. Um, uh, okay, let's carry on with the questions. <laughs> uh... Jack 073 asks, What has been your best experience since becoming popular online? Love your vids, by the way. Keep up the good work. Well, my best experience uh, would have to be probably meeting everyone at PAX Boston. Meeting all of my, all of the friends I had met through YouTube for the first time. All these people that I have watched and seen online but never actually met. All these people that I had played with over and over and then we all sat down and we had a dinner in boston and i just looked around the table there was cryos all these cool people you know swagger i Nut, all these people that i know have known for so long but had never met that was a really cool experience uh and then the next day we went shopping with smitty that was top quality but staying in a house uh, in boston with cryos fitz and i was so funny because i don't drink and one night, Fitz uh, comes home uh, with cryos. And they had just been at a party, like a PAX party or something. And they were drunk as fuck. And I had never seen Fitz this drunk in my life. And it was absolutely hilarious. And um, I come out and he's like, he's like oh, sorry, did we, did we wake you up, man? I'm so sorry. And then he's like, can you start filming me so I can see myself in the morning? And then he, I started filming and I was like, okay. And he... um. He takes the camera off me, the, the phone, and he just starts vlogging himself, but only addressing future him. So it was like, he's vlogging, but he's like, yo, sober fits? Like, you're gonna... And it was, it was fucking hilarious. 
Um, but yeah, so PAX Boston was probably the coolest experience I've had with YouTube so far. You know, and, and all, there's been so many other experiences that it's pretty hard to choose one anyway. What's the toughest part about streaming and YouTube? Okay, here's the thing. Here's something people don't think about. It's really hard to be funny all the time. <laughs> And I, it's, it's, for me, it's not quite possible, but uh, imagine, imagine this, all right? Okay. So imagine you're in a position in which, you know, twice or three times a week, you have to upload 10 minutes of funny content to YouTube that is going to be seen by hundreds of thousands of people. All right. You have to upload, you have to make something three to two to three times a week that hundreds of thousands of people will see, and it has to be fresh and funny that's super stressful it's so hard to be funny all the time dude like well it's i mean i say it's hard to be funny all the time it's so hard that i don't do it you know i just i can't do it, it it's it's so difficult and i realized recently actually that a lot of my videos i don't really say much and i i didn't realize it until super recently that i have started to input less in my own videos and it's something that i'm working on now and I think that it's just because I got like worn out of trying to be funny so much and I just kind of lost it and I like lost my mojo for a little bit and I'm, I'm bringing it back. I'm bringing back the mojo. <laughs> um, but it's, it's really hard. And especially with streaming, um, a lot of people come to the streams and expect you to be exactly how you are in the videos. It's never going to fucking happen. Uh, I'm never going to be as funny as I am in the videos on stream because the, the videos are edited. The stream is not and that should be enough for you to know it's not going to be as fucking funny but yeah it, it's difficult uh you know it can be hard i would never give it up though i i love it it's it's a very very fulfilling and enjoying job and an enjoying enjoyable job um you know there, there are times that it, it, you it sucks like getting demonetized and stuff but i love it i wouldn't give it up okay next question um, oh, that video was from Zana Mra. <laughs> uh, Ayat's Brook asked, who is the first person that really got you into YouTube and what's your favorite game to play? Um, the first person, I assume they mean YouTuber, maybe? And that would be the, the Machinima guys, Hutch, C. Nanas, and Sark. Those guys were, were the first guys that really got me consistently watching someone on YouTube. Before then, I it would be like my friends would show me a video and I'd be like, hey, that's kind of funny, you know, but I wouldn't consistently watch. But with, when I came across Hutch, Hutch C. Nanas and Mr. Sark, I, w I fell in love. I was like, I need to watch this all the time. And and yeah, I love that. What was the second part of that question? Oh, uh, what's the solo game? Um, I One of my favorite games of all time is... Um, Favorite game of all time, uh, Forza Horizon 3. Soon to be Forza Horizon 4, I can assume, because I assume it's going to be just as good as 3. Um, so I'm super excited for that. I love racing games, especially racing games that allow you to modify your cars uh, and make them your own, and especially the Horizon series, which allows you to drive around and free roam with your buddies. It's so fun. I love that shit, man. I got such a soft spot for that. I love cars. Okay. Um, Avoid Yeet says... How many vapes do you own? The answer to that, sir, is too many. Because I'm sponsored by a vape company. <laughs> uh, so I get shit for free. Um, next question. <laughs> yeah, but in reality, I think I probably own like 10. But I only end up using like two. Um... Next question. What's your favorite game you've ever played? Forza Horizon 3. Playing that, cruising with your friends, is the best. Uh, by the way, don't expect me to win this game. That was a total fluke that I won one last game. And uh, yeah, good. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, and uh, we got a question from Cyber Saint who says, What are your PC specs? My PC specs are... I have a 1080 Ti. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I have a person to my right. I have uh, a 7700K processor, and I, which is an i7. And yeah, that's all that's important, I think. I think that's all people really ask for when they ask for your PC specs are. 
Anyway, that was a, that was, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to look on Instagram for some things. Follow my Instagram so I can have more followers than Fitz, please. Thank you. Uh, I want to overtake Fitz on something. And so far, it's looking like Instagram is the only plausible thing. So please, please follow me. I'm desperate. Okay, on Instagram, we posted, by the way, it's just John on the radio on Instagram. Give it a cheeky follow. All right, let's have a look at some some Instagram questions here. Um, would you ever move to another country? If so, which one? There are plenty of countries I'd love to move to. I, I would love to move to the UK. I'd love to move to um, some places in the US. Uh, but mainly just for opportunities there. There are a lot of things about the US that I don't necessarily agree with. But there's a lot of things about every country that people don't agree with. So I don't care. You know, uh, but there's lots of places I'd like to live. I I, I, lo I like seeing new places and meeting new people, you know. What's the weirdest place Swagger has worn his helmet? I like this question. I fuck with this question. Give me a second. Hello. That was rude. Dude, are you all right, mate? Whoa, 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 whoa. I keep hitting my phone. Come on down, buddy. Come on down. Come party. Come party. It's more fun when you come party, dude. It's more fun when you come party. That was a beautiful build there by John on the radio. And we're dead. Um, what was the question? <laughs> I don't remember. Why do you call yourself... Oh, wait. What's the weirdest place Swagger has worn his helmet? A bar in Poland. We were in Poland once, and he put his helmet on to go to a bar with us. And interestingly, no one seemed to really care that he was wearing his helmet in a bar. But that's great. <laughs> uh, why do you call yourself Toby? Because it's my name, sir. What part of New Zealand do you live in? I live in Auckland. Um, when and how did you meet Fitz in the group? I met Fitz at high school, and I met the rest of the group through Fitz, because he was a famous YouTuber, and he meets a lot of people, and I like to steal friends. <laughs> is vaping gay? Very. Um, how did you find Swagger? He was found by Fitz on a surf server. They both happened to play at the same time. And they're like, yo, dude, you're fucking funny. And he's like, you're fucking funny. And then they fucking played together and it was great. Uh, I love how consistent your uploads are. Oh, I thought this was cryos. Yep, factual. What's a YouTuber slash streamer you want to record with but haven't yet? Um, probably Hutch. Just because he was like my childhood idol. I don't think it would make for good content. But I would love to record with him. What I would actually love to do. I don't know if you guys would be at all interested in this. I would love to do a series where I play a game with someone. And interview them while I'm playing. Like we, we just chill. We, we're playing a game of Fortnite or whatever. And while we're doing that. I'm asking them questions about themselves. And interviewing them. I don't know if you guys would like that or not. I don't know if it's appropriate for my channel. But I think it would be fun. And I think it would be a cool way to learn more about your favorite creators. Best drug experience? I don't like drugs. Oh, I like the idea of drugs because I find them interesting. But I don't like taking drugs. Um, You plan on moving to the US? Maybe at one point. Some point. I don't know. Have you ever thought about voice acting from iRockPNG? I mean JRockPNG. Yes. Simple question, simple answer. Yes, I have thought about voice acting. It's a dream of mine. I want to eventually get into a position where I can do voice acting. Uh, I think that would be extremely fun. Uh, but until then, I won't be doing voice acting. <laughs> um, when did you lose your virginity? Never. I'm a good Christian boy. I would never have sex. That's, that's anti-Semitic. Which I believe is when you say something offensive to Jews. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is your favorite color of the alphabet? Pink. You didn't know my favorite color was pink? You're a fucking idiot. Because it's very obvious. <laughs> and the pink border and all that shit. Um, what helps you keep making YouTube videos and not giving up? You guys do. I love you guys. You guys give me the drive to create what I make. And I know that's, it's, that's what every YouTuber says. But the reason that's what every YouTuber says is because it's true. We wouldn't make content if... Well, that's not true. 
I was about to say we wouldn't make content if nobody watched, but that's not true. A lot of YouTubers make content when nobody watches. I guess what I really mean is I wouldn't make content without your support. Um, because I would just get bored of it because I... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to cut this bit out of the video. <laughs> this is just... I'm not answering this well at all. This is terrible. I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Fuck you. Can you record a video while you're high and upload it to YouTube? No, because I don't do the drugs. I don't smoke the reefer. I don't have a problem with people doing drugs. Or I just don't enjoy it myself. You can do as many drugs as you goddamn please. I just... I'm not going to do them with you. <laughs> hello? 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 Oh, hello. Oh, I see you. Hello there. Hi. How do you do? Hello. Oh, you're placing a... Is that a trap? I believe that's a trap. How do you do? I'm just going to open this door. And I see you've placed a trap there, buddy. This would be the perfect time to jump me, mate. When I'm focused on the trap. Yeah, you see, you just fucked that up a little, mate. You fucked that up. All right, next question. Uh, do you like recording videos alone or recording videos with your mate? I like recording videos with my mates. However, I would like to make more solo content if it's what you guys would want. If you guys aren't going to watch my solo content, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to lie to you. If nobody, wa if someone doesn't watch a video, I if, uh, if the videos don't perform well, I'm probably going to stop making that sort of video because I don't really care what I make. I just make what I have fun doing. Um, yeah. And I have fun doing what you guys enjoy anyway. So who cares? I, I will try and make more solo stuff though. Because I, I do like the idea of being able to do solo stuff. I should probably prop this chug jug just out in the open like, like nobody's business. How has the fame changed the way you interact with people? Uh, anyone who isn't famous on YouTube, I don't talk to. Is the basic idea of it. Um, fuck anyone who isn't famous. I'm the biggest big shot that there is. No, I don't think it's changed the way I talk to people at all. Can you fuck off, please? I'm trying to record a Q&A here. And, and you just barge on in here. Damn, you people. The audacity on these kids is insane. What's your favorite game to record and make videos for? I don't... I... I don't know. <laughs> I don't really have one. I just play with my friends and videos get made. Yeah. What sort of music do you listen to? Um, mainly, uh, I am Jake Hill. He's a great artist. I love this kid, especially this song right here. Great tune. It's a banger. What a tune. What a banger. Also this music. Okay, next question. Uh, la, 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 la. Who is your favorite person slash YouTuber to record with? Like, not necessarily who gets the most attention, but who personally is the most fun? Either Fitz or Cryos. I love those two. I mean, I love all my friends. And they're all, they're all very fun to play with. Zuckles is great. Swag is hilarious. Inut is the, the biggest sweetheart, and he's so funny, and I, I love him. I love all my friends. But Cryos and Fitz are so much fun to play with because they just have such similar humors to me, and I just fuck with them so hard, you know? Did you see more of a career in streaming or YouTube? YouTube. It is... <sighs> I don't even... I don't think I'll ever succeed on Twitch. I genuinely don't think that. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever be big on Twitch. I wish I would be big on Twitch because I would much rather be a big Twitch streamer than a big YouTuber. I don't know why, but I love Twitch way more. And I would love to be one of the, I'd love to be like the Soda Pop and the Dr. Disrespects, those kinds of people. But I don't think I will ever be big on Twitch. And I'm okay with that because I like what I have. 
um but yeah youtube is always going to be the biggest platform for me because that's where people want to watch me <laughs> and i understand that edited edited toby is better toby next question next question is pancakes or waffles pancakes you coming over here mate you're right you're coming coming over here buddy i'm in a party joining joining in the party can you, can you stop please i'm trying to have make friends over here with this man I'm trying to make friends with that man and you started fucking shooting at me like some bombastic piece of shit. I don't approve. I forgot you can't spray with that gun anymore because it, they nerfed it to hell. Um, you own a house or rent? I live with my, with my parents because I'm a child. I'm a 20 year old child who lives with his parents. Like some kind of loser. <laughs> Have you tried edibles? I tried them once in a legal place. It was legal. It was in Rotterdam and I hated it. That's the end of that story. <laughs> um, what games do you play in your free time? I play a lot of Escape from Tarkov. Play a lot of Fortnite, to be honest. Um, now, I never used to. I used to hate Fortnite. Well, not hate it. I just used to not enjoy it. I respected it. I thought it was a really good game, but I never enjoyed it. Um, but I've got into it a little more and now I actually... I am actually digging it quite a lot more now. I actually enjoy it. Uh, Orza, sometimes. We've been playing Crash Bandicoot on stream, which was fun. Yeah, yeah. If you had a million dollars, what would you do with it? Do you want the, the serious answer? Which would be, I would probably just buy a house. <laughs> or do you want the stupid answer of like, I would buy a fucking supercar and wide body it. I would probably buy something like a a Lamborghini Aventador and put a, a, a Liberty Walk kit on it or maybe a, a 458 with a Liberty Walk kit or maybe one of the McLarens. They look dope with the kits on them. I would wide body a supercar, but realistically, I would buy a house. <laughs> but if I already had a house, I would wide body a supercar. <laughs> uh, who, in your opinion, is the most retarded out of the group? Zuckles. I don't think anyone would answer any differently ever. Will you ever go on tour in the future? I have no idea what I would do if I was on tour. Why? What would you want? Me <laughs> what would I do? I'm just the boy that sits in his room and plays video games. I'm going to do that on stage. <laughs> Come watch me play video games. <laughs> What's one thing in the world that would make you quit YouTube? Oh, I don't know. If, if there was a huge voice acting opportunity... Like a main character and a triple A title, and they said the only the only catch is you have to give up you have to give up YouTube and streaming for the entirety of the film of the uh, process of making the game. I would probably accept it. I think, but I don't know. I don't know if there's there's there, there's really not much in the world that I would give up YouTube for. I love YouTube. I love streaming. I love doing what I do. It is the, so much fun. Just, yeah, I don't know. But if I had to pick something, it would probably be, probably, it would probably, probably be something like that. Just a huge voice acting opportunity that I couldn't afford to turn down. Hello. How did you place that so far down? That's very strange. That guy was bad. You know how I know he was bad? Because I'm bad and I killed him. So, you know. Boobs or butts? Butts. When we when we advertise the Misfits podcast in a video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, Fitz, Swagger, I Notorious, McCreamy, Zuckles, and I record a podcast once a week. And if you want to catch up on the podcast, the links will be in the description. <laughs> it's a pretty good podcast, I'm not going to lie. What is your favorite creation a fan made you? Dude, all the fan art is so cool. I love fan art. So that is not loaded. That's embarrassing. I'll, let me just reload real quick. Uh, I love fan art so much. It's so cool. 
Do you fucking mind? See, that guy was overconfident. He came in. He was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slay this, this bitch. I'm going to slay you, you queen. Um, and then he came in and I started shooting. And he's like, oh, I'm going to lose this. And he tried to run away and he didn't succeed. You failed me. Does McCreamy actually cheat? No. Are you single? Is Fitz single? I'm not going to talk about Fitz, but I am single as a Pringle and ready to mingle. <laughs> hey, ladies. You like you like video games and 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 people who can do uh, voices sometimes. Well, I'm your man. Or the, I'm sure there's plenty of other people who also do those two things. But if I'm the one you happen to find, then come across me. <laughs> nice. Will you get into H1Z1? H1Z1 Battle Royale was one of my favorite games. I loved that game. I was royalty rank one. Uh, but then the servers died in New Zealand and no one plays in New Zealand. And I can't connect to any other servers, so I don't play it anymore. And the game just died. How much do you actually enjoy Fortnite? I didn't enjoy Fortnite in the... Uh, wait, how much do you actually enjoy Fortnite? And how much of it is just background noise of playing with your friends? Uh, there are a lot of games that we play that is simply just background. We just play it as as some, something to do while we're talking to each other. And that's where the content comes. But, and at the same time, Fortnite was one of those where I just, I didn't really care what I was playing. I would just do it in the background. But now I actually really enjoy Fortnite. And I really got into it as of lately on stream because we started actually trying a bit. And we have been developing. Why is your color for everything on your channel and stream pink? Because I love pink. Because I'm a straight male. And straight males love pink. At least that's what I that's what I think. Am I wrong? I don't know. How did you first discover that you have a voice perfect for radio? Did someone tell you? The only reason my voice is good is because I worked on it. Anyone can get good at voices by practicing much like anything else in life you can get good at it through practicing voice acting is no different i firmly believe that anyone can get can you know learn to do voices i just started doing voices one day i was like trying and they were terrible but i loved doing it so i kept trying and through that i got better and better and to the point now where i'm pretty good i guess there's a man over there there are two men over there anyway I think we're pretty good now. I think we can throw this podcast away. I just want to end it by saying thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this random little insight into a bunch of random questions. And I stream every day on Twitch, so please come watch me. I'm desperate for, for attention all the time because I'm an attention whore, please. Ian Fetch Nur Dominic said, Can I end the video, please? Sure. Okay, I'm going to put that at the end. So it's going to be like, what? It's cutting back to previous content. Very strange.